In this video, I want you to watch me digitize a wall using the drywall plugin and the templates and adding parts to a template that doesn't have all the parts that we need for a wall type. Let's take this uh, B5 wall. Let's go look at the wall type and see what it consists of. Um, it's saying that we need to brace the walls to the deck. We need to add some fire blocking as required. 3 and 5 eighths metal stud, 16 on center. 5 eighths type X gypsum wall board, 6 inches above the ceiling. At the back of the house, use the 5 eighths plywood instead in the kitchen. And then add 5 eighths dural rock board, 1 foot from the finished floor. So this is what we're going to do. Let me go back to the floor plan. We're going to use this template over here in the drywall plugin that says framing and drywall. Click on this button. This properties window opens. We're going to change the name to B5 wall type. And I'm going to go to the advanced folder here. And I'm going to copy this description. I'm going to paste it in the name. This way it will automatically type in whatever I pick for this wall. We'll go back to the form and we'll start to fill out the form. We'll click on the framing tab. Our wall is 18 foot high. Our track is going to be 3 and 5 eighths inch and a quarter flange, 30 mil. We need two runs of track. Our track is 10 foot long. Our track nails are 3 quarter inch track fast nails. And we want them on 16 on center. Our framing screws, since we're using 30 mil studs, let's use a self driller screw. Our 3 and 5 eighths stud here, inch and a quarter flange, 30 mil. Our studs are 18 foot long. We're going to do 16 on center. Our layout labor and our framing labor, I want to change it from light gauge to heavy gauge. I'm going to pay them a little bit more for this heavy gauge wall. Click on the drywall tab, and we're going to use 5 8 plywood. And I have some plywood in the database in the, under the drywall, so in case we're going to use plywood, we can just pick the 5 8 CDX plywood, and that plywood is going to go 10 foot 6, which is 6 inches above the ceiling. We're going to do one side. We're going to use a 4 by 8 sheet. We're going to use inch and a quarter screws. And we're not going to need any joint compound, so I'm going to click None. We won't need any joint tape. No hanging for the drywall, and no finishing for the drywall. We'll click OK and digitize our wall. Now I'm going to digitize all the B5 walls at one time. OK, and click Escape. OK, now go to my Estimating tab and expand the folder for that wall. And I'm going to delete the tape and mud and drywall hanging, all these that I didn't need here. So I'm going to highlight the wall. And the first thing I want to do is get some hangers labor for this plywood. So I'll go over here in the drywall plugin and I'll look under the labor folder for my hanging plywood labor. Double click on the plywood hanger and that plywood is going to go 10 foot 6. A 4 by 8 sheet. Click OK and now I've got some labor in here to hang this plywood. The next thing I need is that draft stopping track, some extra track for the draft stop. So I'm going to go down here to my track and I have track where you can pick how many pieces you want or you can do it by the linear 
takeoff, which is the icon here. We'll use that. Double click here. We'll pick our track, three and five eighths, inch and a quarter flange, thirty mil, ten foot length. We're going to just do one run, and this will give us that extra track we need for the draft stop. And I'm going to click in this uh, description. Just write myself a reminder here. And then I'm going to need some foam insulation for that track. So we'll double click on this, acoustical sealant, drop down window, look for infiltration foam. And I'll click OK. This will tell me how many cans I need for that length of the wall. The next thing I'd like to do is add some more studs. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four. I'm just going to add four more studs in here for waist and the extra corners. So highlight the wall. Go down to my studs folder. And I have a studs for add pieces without the icon. Double click there. We'll change the studs to three and five eighths. Inch and a quarter of 30 mil right here. And I'm just going to want four pieces. So I'll put how many pieces? I'll put four. And they're going to be 18 foot long. OK. Now i got some extra studs in here. And I can just click twice on this description. And I can put extra, extra studs to remind me. And then I need that diagonal bracing. So up here, um, underneath angle bracing CRC cats flat stock I got some cross bracing or I got some angle bracing so I'm going to use the angle bracing double click there pick the the right stud I need 3 and 5 eighths inch and a quarter flange 30 mil I'll click the right stud the stud length I'm going to use a 10 footer so I can cut them in half they're going to be 32 inches on center I just need one brace click OK and I can click twice over here and put bracing to deck just for a reminder okay looks like I got everything I need in here except for my dura rock so I'll highlight the wall I go to my drywall folder double click on the drywall change this half inch regular to dura rock and type in dr a 5 h dura rock and it's only going to be one foot high so we'll put uh, one foot here and it's going to be a four by eight sheet and only goes on one side now i have my dura rock now i need a hanger to hang that dura rock so I'll highlight the wall go down to my labor folder for hanger, hanger, hanging subcontract, so I'll double click on that. The wall's one foot high, and it's one side. I'm going to use a 4 by 8 sheet. Now I've got a hanger labor here to hang that dural rock. Okay, then that's it. So we can use a template here, and if I don't have all the parts we need in the template for the wall type we're going to take off, you can just go through here and look for the extra parts and just drop in all the extra parts and labor, whatever it is, to complete the wall. And that concludes this video.